this video is going to have a look at an example of how can we construct a piecewise graph. So a piecewise graph is a continuous graph formed by two or more linear graphs or linear lines that are joined at points of intersection. So in the example we want to graph the following two linear equations to make a piecewise linear graph. So the two equations we have been given is y equals x plus 1 and y equals 2x minus 1. So if we have a look at the domains, which will help us know where our intersection point is going to be, we can see that they actually haven't given us the um, domain. So we don't know where that point of intersection is going to be. So that means we have to go ahead and calculate it. Now to be able to identify that point of intersection, we have to solve those two equations by using simultaneous equations. So we got y equals x plus 1 and y equals 2x minus 1. So to be able to solve them simultaneously, we can equate the two equations. So x plus 1 equals 2x minus 1. So going ahead to solve a value for x. So 1 is going to equal to x minus 1. Moving the negative 1 over to the other side, 2 is going to equal x. So now that we know x is equal to 2, we can go ahead and find our y value. So y is equal to x plus 1. So y is going to equal to 2 plus 1, which equals 3. So our solution to our simultaneous equation is going to be 2 and 3. So that set of coordinates is going to be our turning point for our graph. It also tells us what our domain is going to be. So our domain is using our x values. So our x value in our coordinate is 2. So when x is smaller than 2, it's going to be y equals x plus 1. And when x is larger than 2, it's going to be y equals 2x minus 1. So we can go ahead now and graph that. And I'm going to start graphing it by marking in my intersection point. So at 2 and 3. So now that it's graphed, I want to go ahead and apply each graph. To do that, I'm going to start with the first equation of y equals x plus 1. And I want to look at my gradient of 1 because that's going to help me work backwards from my point of intersection. So normally a gradient of 1 would mean a run of 1 and a rise of 1. But because I'm going to be going backwards, when I apply my gradient, it's going to be the opposite. So instead of going forward 1 and up 1, I'm going to go backwards 1 and down 1. So when I go backwards 1 and down 1, I can put in my next dot. And then I can continue to add a few more dots in by applying the same process. So backwards 1 and then down 1, backwards 1 and then down another 1. And once I've got a few dots, I can go ahead and draw my line. Now my line is going to start at the intersection point and be going backwards. Now because there is no um, endpoint on that graph, because you just know that it applies when x is smaller than 2, I can go ahead and put an arrow on the end. So now I can go ahead and graph the second equation, which is y is equal to 2x minus 1, and I'm going to be working with a gradient of 2. So this time because I'm graphing forward from my intersection point, the gradient of 2 means every time I go over 1, I'm going to go up 2. So I can go over 1 and then up 2 and mark it as a point over 1, up 2. Then once I have a few dots, I can go ahead and draw in that line. And again, because there's no end point, I can put an arrow on the end. Now that is my completed piecewise graph for the equations y equals x plus 2 and y equals 2x minus 1. And we can see that that graph consists of two separate lines that is joined by the point of intersection where the graph then changes direction. So that is an example of how to complete a piecewise graph.